Greetings everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can use STXL on Rampot services to Kohya SS LoRa training on STXL even if you don't have any GPU. Because this is a cloud service, the tutorial works both on Rampot Stable Diffusion Web UI template and also Rampot Fast Stable Diffusion template. So I will show you step by step installation and training of Kohya GUI SS on Rampot as you are seeing right now. I will show you the important steps, the tips and tricks. Moreover, I will show you how you can update automatic 11.11 web UI to the latest version and use best VAE and generate amazing pictures like this. I will show you the LoRa training logic of STXL by using Kohya GUI trainer on Rampot. Moreover, I will show you the extension of after detailer, a detailer to automatically fix and improve faces of distant shots. With a detailer, it has automatic face in painting but it also has automatic hand in painting as well so you can also test this but i didn't find it very useful so it is up to you to test after watching this tutorial you will be able to generate amazing quality images like this and all of the training will be done by only using rtx 3090 pot which is a pretty cheap pot only 35 cents per hour so I have prepared a very detailed GitHub readme file that I will share all of the links and instructions to follow this tutorial. Actually, this file was used in my latest Rampot Kohya tutorial, so I updated it. I will show both automatic installation and step-by-step -step manual installation. Let's go to our Rampot account from here. Let's log in. I will start two machines and i will do both automatic and manual installation you can choose either stable diffusion web ui template or rampot fast stable diffusion template both of them are working when you are watching this tutorial you may see different versions don't worry i will update the github readme file if it be necessary so let's begin with the web ui version let's continue deploy okay you see we got an error so we need to pick another pot sometimes this happens so i will select extreme speed i am using rtx 3090 because it is pretty good also pretty cheap i don't suggest you to use rtx 4090 at the moment because of the drivers i think it is not working at the full performance so let's go with rtx 3090 okay template selected let's deploy okay let's go to my pods let's say this will be auto installation okay let's start another pod quickly i'm going to use same template let's go to my pods installation is totally same for web ui template and also fast stable diffusion template so this will be manual wait until you get connect button appearing here after you got the connect button click it connect to jupyter lab so the Jupyter Lab is loaded. Let's begin with automatic installation Open this post. Everything is also written here. It is so easy to use. We will download these three attachments. Let's download them. Then upload them into the workspace. Click this upload icon. Select them and upload as you are seeing right now. Then open a new terminal. Then you need to only execute these two commands. It will totally automatically install Kohya and download necessary models. So copy this, paste it, hit enter. It will start doing processing. Open another terminal like this. Copy this, paste it and hit enter. And nothing else you need to do for automatic installation. Now we can begin manual installation. Running after automatic installation and manual installation are totally same you just copy this and execute it for running before showing you manual installation there are two important things you should download your models and choose them also if you don't know how to use kohya how to do kohya lora training please watch this tutorial and also this tutorial this is stxl tutorial that i just released it like one day ago it is 85 minutes and it has 73 chapters and here my older tutorial in this tutorial i have shown how to do training with sd 1.5 
version based models such as realistic vision or dream shaper and here my best images finding script tutorial video and this tutorial is super important if you don't know how to use rampot please watch this tutorial this tutorial is amazing it is over 100 minutes fully chaptered watch this and it will help you significantly i have put the resources links here so you can quickly download the realistic vision model from here best vae from here and stxl best vae from here so let's do first manual installation and download the models the manual installation is also pretty straightforward you need to execute each one of the commands one by one so let's begin from this copy it let's connect to our manual installation port connect to jupyter lab meanwhile automatic installation is doing everything for us let's open terminal paste the command hit enter make sure that command is completely run then select the second command paste it do not skip any of the commands it is asking you to continue yes then copy this command paste it then copy this command paste it hit enter it will clone the kohia ss repository then copy this command paste it we will move into the kohia ss folder then copy this command paste it hit enter then we will activate the virtual environment copy this command paste it virtual environment is activated as you are seeing here then copy this command execute it then copy this command and this will do the final installation execute it this will take a lot of time just patiently wait until it is completely finished and it won't display you the status of installing package you need to wait until that package is installed and it will move to the next package so this may take a lot of time depending on your selected ram pod okay both automatic and manual installations are completed since we are using st web ui template we need to kill automatically started automatic 11 11 web ui instance you see it is currently using 30 percent gpu so we need to change the relauncher.py file change it relauncher.py file is shared on the patreon post open it download the relauncher.py file enter inside stable diffusion web ui folder click upload icon upload the relauncher.py file overwrite then restart your pod so if you're not my patreon subscriber enter inside stable diffusion web ui folder double click relauncher.py file copy this line change the wire line here like me save it don't forget to save the file then restart the pod that's it so the automatic installer already downloaded realistic vision version 5.1 model st 1.5 best vae file and stxl best vae file let me show you them when we enter inside stable diffusion web ui inside models inside stable diffusion folder we will see the realistic vision model here also when we check out the vae folder we will see the base save tensors model here stxl base model and refiner model is included in the both stable diffusion web ui template and past stable diffusion template so you don't need to download them yourself now i will close my auto installation and continue with manual installation because the rest is almost same so let's connect the manual installation let me show you how you can download these models into the respective folders for example let's download realistic vision version 5.1 copy it enter inside models inside stable division open a new terminal here paste and it should work you see it has started downloading then to download vae enter inside vae folder open a new terminal copy the command paste it and hit enter so for training without using gpu memory i will kill the automatically started automatic 11 11 web ui instance to kill it i will copy this open a new terminal 
paste it and I will kill it. You will also get this message. It is not important. What is important? The important thing is you will see PID here, which is process ID. It is terminated. Also, when you check your my pods section, you should see GPU memory used 0%. So we will be fully able to utilize the memory of the GPU. Then open a new launcher terminal. And for starting the Kohya GUI, we will copy this command. This is same for both automatic and manual installation. After installation, paste it and hit enter. And it will start Kohya GUI with a shared gradual link. We will get the gradual link here. Okay, let's open it. And the Kohya GUI has started. You see LoRa Dreamboot, all other tabs are here. What is different with Rampo training than doing it on your computer like in a Unix system or Windows? Only different thing is paths, nothing else. For example, if I want to save the configuration, I need to type it here like this and click save. Then when I check the workspace folder here, I will see the test1.json file. Now I will show you an STXL training with my training data set. To do that, I will use 2700 ground truth real person images for regularization. I have explained all of this in very much details in this tutorial. So watch this tutorial to learn how to do training. This tutorial currently that you are watching is all about how to replicate this tutorial on a Rampot machine like it is on your computer. So the instructions to download images on Rampot is shared here. Okay, I have downloaded and extracted all of the images. Let me show you some of them. For example, this one it is getting opened or this one. These are super high quality ground truth regularization images. Or maybe let's open another one. Okay, this one. Okay, here another one as you are seeing. So now I will upload my training images for uploading and downloading, I suggest you to use Rampot CTL. I have explained how to use Rampot CTL in this tutorial, how to install it in this tutorial. The Rampot CTL is also shared in this Patreon post. Click it. Then you can download this auto installer and it will install you automatically Rampot CTL. After installation, when you type Rampot CTL like this, you should get this rampot ctl message then it means it is ready now i will upload my training images by using rampot ctl all of them are 10024 pixels by 10024 pixels i suggest you to use same dimension having images i have explained a lot of details in this tutorial so how are we going to upload them first i will make a folder here name it as train then enter inside that folder then i will move to parent folder copy the path of the folder open a new cmd then type ram pod ctl send put a quotation mark like this paste the folder path and and the quotation mark and hit enter and it will give you a link copy it why this is useful because if you had 1000 images it would be much harder so open a terminal here paste the command and hit enter alternatively you can use this upload icon select all of your files from here and upload them this is alternative way so you see all of the images are uploaded now i am totally ready to start training the training is completely same as i have shown and explained it in this tutorial video the only thing that changes are the path so let's begin with selecting our base model select custom here let's go inside where our model is located inside here let's copy the path right click copy path then paste it here like this don't forget to put this backslash to the beginning people are making this mistake select stxl model save then go to the tools go to the deprecated tab in here set your parameters let's get the path of our training images which are here let's copy the path so here i copy the path i will make the repeating 25 
I will copy the path of the regularization images. They are also called as classification images as well. Repeating one, the destination. Now this is important. I will make the destination inside LoRa folder of Automatic 11.11 Web UI. So I will be able to use them directly. So I copy path. Always I am putting backslash to the beginning of the path. Just here, click prepare training data. Then in here you will see the message of the folders are generated then click copy info to folders tab go back to training go back to folders and you will see the folders are set like this give a name let's say rampot kohya we are still not ready yet click save go to the parameters these are the parameters that i am using currently there could be better parameters i am in research so number of epochs are 8 bf16 bf16 cache latents and cache latents to disk learning rate is like this 4e-4 constant learning rate scheduler optimizer will be other factor i won't use bucketing because i have all same dimension images max resolution don't forget to change this as well I am making the learning rate equal in text encoder learning rate and unit learning rate. Hopefully, I will also research training on the unit, not training text encoder, and make another video about that. So stay subscribed. Network rank dimension. This is really important. Network rank dimension has a certain effect. When you open this tweet that I have shared, you will get to this page. And when I use network rank dimension higher, such as 256, it is able to learn more details about the subject that we are training. However, what is happening, the extra network layers that is being used during the inference is overriding the existing knowledge of the model. So the subject we train it becomes better. However, when you look at these trees, you see they are not looking good. This is 256. When we compare the same prompt with the network rank dimension 32, we see the three details are much better. They are looking much better. So there is a trade-off between higher network rank dimension and lower network rank dimension. If you use higher network rank dimension, you will learn more details about the subject that you are training. It can be style, it can be person, it can be whatever you are training. However, the model will lose its existing knowledge. So for this training, I will use 32. You can also use 256 you can use 128 it is totally up to you you can try different network rank dimensions and compare the results according to your purpose so let's go with 32 network alpha one the advanced tab is now located here so in the advanced tab we just need to select gradient checkpointing and that's it you don't need to change anything else save before starting training click print training command and check out the command from this open terminal window verify that everything is looking good the number of images found number of steps i explain everything in very much details in this tutorial video so don't forget to watch it for sd 1.5 watch this tutorial everything is same with sd 1.5 you are giving the parameters models padding everything just the learning rate and user optimization may change i haven't recently tested for sd 1.5 models so for learning rampot again this is the best tutorial okay we are ready to start training so just click start training and watch the terminal where you have started your kohya goi instance it will show you everything like you are seeing right now I am not using captions at the moment, but I will also hopefully make a research about using captions for training a subject, possibly also for teaching a style and make tutorial videos about them as well. So stay tuned for that too. So it is now caching our images. The caching images is only one time. So the training has been started and it has been over 16 minutes. The training speed is 1.39 seconds per IT, which is pretty decent when you consider we are just using rtx 3090 a very cheap gpu so this is the speed and hopefully it will be completed in one hour 44 minutes so it is going to take about two hours for 5200 steps 
with batch size 1. So the training has been completed. It took exactly 2 hours for 5200 steps. Now we will begin using our trained LoRa models. And how are we going to do that? We are going to start our stable diffusion automatic level and web UI instance on RAMPOD. Before starting your instance, I suggest you to update it to the latest version. I have an auto updater script on my Patreon post. Let's update both automatically and manually. I am keeping this file up to date. Let's download the one click auto 1111 stxl file, upload it into our workspace folder open a new terminal by the way how did i understand my kohya training completed you are looking at the terminal where you have started your kohya don't forget that all right we have uploaded our updater file then we will execute this command to run this auto updater file it is going to update automatic MLM web ui to the latest version it will install xformers enable it and it will download the best vae file so how could you update it yourself? It is following by these commands that you are seeing. This is the auto updater file right now. It may change in the future, but this is the way updating. You do git stage, do git checkout master, git pull. So it is updating to the latest version. However, there is one tricky issue. When you do git stage and git checkout, to the master and do git pull it will overwrite the web ui user pt1 file the file that we use on ram pod so before updating it enter inside stable diffusion web ui folder and take a backup of your web ui dash user dot sh file you see currently it is already overridden by the updater then it will get replaced again after the update so make sure that you have downloaded this file onto your computer then upload it again after the updating this is crucial then another crucial thing is you need to activate the virtual environment of the automatic eleven web ui then install xformers like this after that the rest is so easy you see we are downloading the best vae file and in this line, it is actually reverting back the web UI dash user file. So the update has been completed and also automatic 11LM web UI instance has been started. You can also manually start your web UI instance by using this command that is shared on the GitHub readme file. Because before training, we have terminated the running instance of automatic 11LM web UI to free up the user VRAM. So where the LoRa files are saved, because we have saved them inside models folder, inside LoRa folder during our training, our LoRa files are already in the LoRa folder of automatic 11 web UI. Therefore, the automatic 11 LM web UI will see all of the LoRa files automatically. Moreover, I rename the latest epoch, the latest checkpoint with the same naming convention of the other previous checkpoints so let's rename this as the checkpoint 8 like this okay let's connect to our web ui instance connect connect to http port and we will connect to automatic level and web ui instance okay it is loading the model you see it has started the other model that we downloaded now we will switch to the base model because we did the training on base model so whichever the model you use for your training it will work best with your loras stxl loras are not compatible with sd 1.5 version loras and let's also set our best vae file to do that let's go to user interface let's type stvae to do quick selection quick settings list then apply settings and reload ui there is one another important thing with stxl actually so it is better to also add let's refresh this file okay dash dash no help vae this is necessary for stxl automatic 11 is doing this automatically however if you also put this command it is useful because in some cases automatic 11 web ui is failing to enable 32 bit full vae precision so therefore if you manually add this it is better all right i will also update my auto updater for this change so it will automatically add that in future downloads let's also select the st vae safe tensors from here and we are ready to start generating 
our images so click the stable diffusion link here on the github readme file this is my main repository we have reached 700 stars i hope you also start the repository fork it also watch it if you also be a sponsor of me i would appreciate that very much all of these are helping me in here i have amazing prompts list for stable diffusion so i will use some of the prompts from here for example let's try this prompt okay this is the positive prompt let's copy paste it then there is negative prompt here so let's also copy paste it and let's apply some high resolution fix like 1.2 like 20 percent let's make the denoising 50 percent let's make the cfg 9 and one more thing you need to also append your trained lora so where is the LoRa? LoRa is currently from this icon, but when the development branch of Automatic 11.11 Web UI merged into main branch, this icon is gone and the LoRa tab will be here. So don't get confused. So these are our LoRa files. For example, let's append the seventh one. This is usually the best one with these settings. Okay, let's close it and let's generate. Okay, generation is happening. It is 2.25 IT per second right now. It is doing the high resolution fix. Okay, image is generated. However, the face is not very good because it's a distance shot. So how can I fix the face? For that, I will use an extension called as a detailer. So let's load from here. Search for detailer. Then you will go to the after detailer extension. Install it. I don't know if this extension is requiring any new library installation because if it is requiring something new to be installed you need to remove dash dash skip install from here this is added by default currently since i did the auto upgrade it is removed so don't forget to remove that okay after extension has been installed let's restart the web ui and we can watch what is happening from our terminal where we have started our web ui okay it is restarting it is downloading the necessary face detection models it has downloaded and the web ui started okay it is still reloading okay reload almost completed and reload completed let's click this to reload the last values it has reloaded the seed as well now i will use a detailer you see i have the a detailer extension here i just need to enable it and if i leave these prompt inputs blank it will use the inputs from here so let's generate and see the difference the generated images will be in the outputs folder in the text image tab you see you can download all of them either one by one or using rampot ctl which is the best way so you can start a new terminal here type rampot ctl send copy the folder path name like this and it will give you a link to download all of the images inside that folder okay it is generating first then it is going to impaint the face okay for some reason this image didn't work well this is interesting let's manually impaint so i send it to the impaint okay image has come so let's mark the face and let's impaint only mask it all right yeah looking good let's make the denoising strength 50 percent and try again okay it is somewhat similar to it but not much so i will just try photo of ohw man and the laura i want to see the difference okay now i see the face similarity yes it is now much better similar to me since it is too distant it is not very visible but it is exactly like me so let's change the prompt or maybe let's try some another one with another seed i will generate 12 images and then we can look all of them by the way this is running on cloud therefore you don't need a gpu you probably already know that but i am just reminding it okay this image has two faces so just let's skip it even though i did skip it is also in painting face so i will also skip that part okay now move to next image i just noticed it a mistake of me i should make the in paint with and hate 1024 because we did the training with that i will also increase the in paint denoising strength so let's make them like this all right oh by the way i don't need to because if you only choose use separate with and hate you need to set this so 
this wasn't a mistake so i am just going to increase the in-paint denoising strength to 50 percent okay the generations are completed however the face is not matching very well the quality is very good but the faces are not very good so let's try another prompt which i like to test the face quality it is somewhere around here so it is here i prefer this quality to test the face right here and let's also copy the negative prompt and then we can re-evaluate better oh by the way i will close the high resolution fix maybe that is the reason so let's just try first without high resolution fix okay okay we got the results they are pretty decent let's look at them these are not cherry picked results they are looking very decent we also applied the a detailer you are seeing right now really really good details looking decent so what we need to do is we probably need to change the prompt of the after detailer in our last prompt okay i made some changes and look again yes now we can see the face very clearly the face of course without generating a lot of images you won't get the best results so you need to generate a lot okay this is a very good one okay okay this is also looking pretty good the face is there these are not cherry picks this is the first results so as you generate more you will get much better results okay this is also really good yeah this is also a really good one yeah the model is working everything is working you see pretty good and you need to do some testing of course so what i did extra i added sunglasses to the negative because it was producing all sunglasses why because we use it sunny day in the prompts that is why i normally have eyeglasses therefore it is associated me with eyeglasses however when sunny day added it is associating it with sunglasses instead of eyeglasses and in the after detailer a detailer i simplified the prompt as photo of ohwx man actually i just typed photo ohwx man so you need to try and see which one is doing the best for you this is how you use rampot for lora training how to use your trained loras so if something gets changed i will update this file this file will be always up to date to install kohya ss gui on rampot so this is your source to see the installation commands instructions to install it these instructions are working for both web ui template and both fast stable diffusion template i hope you have enjoyed please join our discord server when you click this link you will see our discord server page join the server we have over 4000 members you can also follow me on twitter just click this link this is my twitter profile you can also purchase my udemy course if you wish you can also support me with buy me a coffee from here i would appreciate that very much you can also support me on patreon i would appreciate that very much you can also follow me on linkedin when you click here this is my linkedin profile you can connect with me you can follow me i have 2600 followers you can also follow me on sweet ai when you click this link you will get to my page and you can follow me from here so far i have 54 followers i also started to be active on medium and deviant art as well so follow me on medium and deviant art too this is all for today i hope you have enjoyed please subscribe join leave a comment ask me anything you wish join our discord server if you support me on youtube by joining i would appreciate that very much i have so much new stuff to experiment research and publish relating stxl training hopefully i will also release them i am working on a woman classification data set hopefully i will also release that so stay subscribed hopefully see you later